Hey y'all, welcome back. It's Celia. And um, this is a Happy Mail video. So I received some more Happy Mail from Deb. Um, Deb has been here pretty much since the beginning. Um, she was one of my first subscribers and she's always been so supportive. She always leaves the sweetest and encouraging comments. Um, and she has sent me Happy Mail several times. I think this is the fourth time that she has sent me some Happy Mail. So I really do appreciate it. Um, and this, I went ahead and opened it. I usually do open these on camera, but um, I knew it would be a little while before I'd be able to film. And so I just couldn't wait. I have to be honest. I. I do not have patience when it comes to like waiting for gifts and stuff. So I went ahead and opened it. And I want to show you all the card first because I just thought the card was so cute. I won't read what's in it. Um, but the front of it I just thought was so cute. It says happy holidays. And it's got the little glitter and everything. It's so cute. Um... And then, she also, if I still, I think I, yeah, it's right here. She made this little stocking, and she said that the pattern is from, I think, the Secret Yarnery, I think is who she said. I'll double check. She sent me an email telling me. Um... And then in the stocking, it has another tape measure, which I can never have enough of these. I love these things. Um, I have like four or five right now. This one is like four or five for me. I love these things. They're just so convenient. And um, since Project Linus, well, both Project Linus and Rachel's gift have... Um, dimension requirements for their blankets these come in so much handy and I'm always misplacing them like I, I'll leave them in one room and then I'll need them in another room and so um, I can never have too many of these so thank you Deb um, I think she um, has been paying attention in my videos because I have mentioned that in the past um, so, I'll go ahead and get into the yarn. I'm really excited because um, in her card she mentioned that um, she knew how much I love mandala yarn, which I do. It's my favorite. Um, but she also sent me some yarn that is new to me. I've never had this yarn before. It is um, Lion Brand Basic Stitch Anti-Pilling. And this one is in the colorway Nightfall. And I'm going to leave them in the pack since they're still like sealed in the package. Um, but hopefully y'all will be able to kind of tell what they look like. It's just a mixture of black, gray, and white. But I can even tell from inside the package like how soft they are. And there's three of them. It's a three pack. I'm guessing this is probably from like a mystery bag or a Santa sack or something like that. Uh, if I had to guess. And then, let's see. Each one is 153 yards and a four weight. So, perfect. Right up my alley. And, okay. So, now we have the mandalas. So she sent me three mandala ombres and one of them is in the colorway Happy and I love this one. I think this one's probably my second favorite after the one I'm currently using for my Nautilus blanket um, balance. That one is my favorite and then I think this one is my second favorite. I haven't used it yet but um, I always look at this one when I go in Walmart. And I love that it has a lot of the red in it. I usually don't like the color red. But the red in this one is so pretty. Um, I don't know what it is about it. I think it's because it has the white 
in it too that like stone washed look um the school I went to the high school I went to the colors were red and white <laughs> and so I think it may be some sort of like nostalgia thing for me seeing that red and white together I think that that may be what it is the reason why I like it so much that's the only thing I can think of because I usually do not like red the color red um but anyway this is just beautiful uh so there's just one of this one but i already have an idea and i think this is why deb sent me these because in i think a couple of whip videos ago the last time i showed the nautilus blanket i mentioned that i did not think i would have enough of the yarn to make it as big as I wanted it and so these that Deb sent me should be enough if they're not in the same colorway but that's fine with me I love you guys know if you've been here a while you know I love mixing colors and like patterns and stuff um, I'm very eclectic in that way um, so anyway I'm really excited to have this and of course Deb always with her happy mail she always sends the cutest little stitch markers so this is the one for this one and I love green she knows I love green and it kind of looks like there's yellow I just now noticed but in the light yeah oh my gosh I just now noticed this it's yellow and green and then some silver oh my now that is gonna make me cry <laughs> I swear, I did not say the yellow before. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is going to make me tear up <laughs> because that just goes to show that she put a lot of thought into that. Just picking out the stitch marker. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I know I cried when I opened this up. I always cry when I open up <laughs> my Happy Mail from Deb because it's just... You can just feel the love that she puts into every box and I'm tearing up <laughs> because when I opened when I first opened the box yesterday afternoon when I first got it I like it had a, a, a smell like a scent and it smelled and I picked up the yarn and um, it doesn't smell like it now because it's been open and everything and air you know my house air has mixed with it now but um it smelled just like my late grandmother and she um it's hard to describe how she smelled but she sm had she always had just she smelled clean but clean but comforting she was allergic very allergic to fragrances like she couldn't wear anything with fragrance no perfumes no um scented lotions or anything scented body wash nothing everything had to be unscented so um she just i don't know she just smelled clean like clean but comforting i, I don't know how to describe it but anyway, so when I opened this box up, it smelled just like her. And it just made me boo-hoo because I just, you know, she and I were very, very close. She was um, my last living grandparent. So she and I were very, very close. Um, but anyway, it just smelling the yarn and everything just smelled like her and it just made me feel emotional and sentimental but anyway moving on <laughs> uh, and then there are two of these ombres and this is in the color Felicity I looked at this and I I didn't remember ever seeing this excuse me um I don't think my Walmart carries this colorway but they, um, it is still salt, like, it's not discontinued or anything. It's on Joann's and Lime Brand websites. So, 
Um, but I've never seen it before, so. But I really like it. I especially love this deep purple, if y'all can tell, like the deep purple. Um, I think it's really, really pretty. I'm really getting into like purples and pinks now, which is so weird because um, I used to hate the color. Well, when I was a little girl, my favorite colors were purple and pink, and I especially loved them together. And then as I grew into my preteen years, about 10 to 12, I loved the color blue, like sky blue. And then um, in high school, I loved yellow. That's when yellow became my favorite color. And I hated yellow when I was little. <laughs> and then um, I hated pink and purple. I did not like purple um, as a high schooler. And then all the yellow moved into adulthood. And then I added green onto that. Um, and then now <laughs> that I'm in my 30s, I've noticed that I'm starting to like like really all colors now I I mean yellow is and green are still my favorites but I'm more accepting of other colors like I can appreciate a pretty pink or a pretty purple whereas before like in my 20s and my late teens I would be like oh you know stick out my nose at those colors wouldn't even consider them so I don't know it's just kind of cool how as you age your preferences change it's like they're constantly changing and everything um or at least that's been my experience i know a lot of people as they get older kind of getting set in their ways or whatever I, i'm just not that type of person i just continually grow and develop <laughs> i don't know anyway that's just my personality and then these last two are actual mandalas Ooh, and these are like older labels. I wonder if these are discontinued colors. Hmm, I'll have to look. But, um, they are in the colorway spirit. Ooh. Excuse me, guys. I, <laughs> I work today and I'm a stalker at Dollar General. Literally just a minute away from me. It's really a great situation <laughs> that I'm in <laughs> as far as my job goes but today I had to go up and down on the ladder all day that's what I did was going up and down up and down so it was a great workout but now I'm like like a veg I'm like oh I just want to go sit and watch um the crown <laughs> that's what I've been watching here lately is the crown and I'm usually not the type of person that like binge watches stuff, but I've been binging that like crazy. I've always been interested in the royal family. Um, but anyway, so this last mandala is called Spirit, and it's these beautiful blues and grays. Uh, this is gorgeous. And she sent me two of them. Ooh, and they're wound differently. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, wait, are they the same? Yeah. Okay, so they're the same colorway, but different packaging. As you can see, this is the older one. This is the newer one. Hmm. Which one do I like better? <laughs> I like them both. I can't decide. Usually, if they're wound differently, I'll have a favorite. But I have to say, I, I like them both. Um, gosh, that's just beautiful. I love those blues. See, that's another one. I'm starting to like blues again. <laughs> so, anyway... I really, really like those. They remind me of winter, like an ice storm or something. Okay, so that is my Happy Mail from Deb. Thank you so much, Deb. I already thanked Deb personally, but um, yeah, so I'm just really glad. Not even just for the Happy Mail, but I mean, that is a nice, you know, nice gesture, obviously, but just, um, for her encouragement and support and um, it just really means a lot to have this community of like-minded people as far as yarn goes like I feel like crocheting or just any type of yarn art fiber art in general is very connecting no matter what your differences are with everything else <laughs> in the world um that is one thing we can all all of us in the yarn community at least can bond 
with is yarn. <laughs> so, um, anyway, and it's just such a warm and inviting community. So, I'm very glad to be a part of it. Um, thank y'all so much for watching, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.